Welcome back, friends. I'm so glad that you could join me here today at Sun Cherry Farm. Today, I would like to do a video on pruning tomato plants. If you do not prune tomato plants, then they'll have more than one main stem coming up and it will be very bushy and if you don't have some kind of support system then it will probably tumble over. I have mine in cages that um, will probably not hold these as well as they would if I had them with some other support system like in ground. If the tomatoes were in ground. So I want to try to make sure that I don't have too many suckers that's going to make another stalk coming off. So I'm going to start by telling you that this is like, some people will say like an armpit. I mean, you would think that the armpit's down here, but it's actually on the top. So I would think it would be like, more like the neck pit instead of the armpit. But we'll just call it the armpit because that's what most other people call it. So if you do not take the suckers off, which is basically like that, then, and I will show you because there, I didn't prune this as good as I should have. I pruned it very good in the very beginning, but then I just started getting busy with other things and didn't come back and keep it pruned. So there is more than one main stem coming off of this one. There's probably like several stems. So I will bring the camera in closer so that you can see that. For instance, right here, this was the arm and then this was the neck pit. So, this is probably, I don't know, if I pulled it off now, it would probably cause more disease to come into the plant. So all I'm going to focus on today is just pulling off the smaller ones. Like this one was in the armpit of that one there. And then this one here, see how it's in the armpit of that one? So I'll just pull it off. And then this one up here is in the armpit so I'll go ahead and pull it off this one actually has a lot of suckers so it, it would probably take me a good I don't know 10 minutes to prune this one and it has lots of flowers on it, and it already has tomatoes on it, as you've seen in my introduction. This tomato plant is a sun gold, which is like a cherry tomato, except for, of course, they're gold, like their name states. Now, if you wanted to, you could put these in some soil and some water and have them root. And then when they got strong enough, you could plant them. See, this is a sucker coming out here, but it's too big for me to pull. Well, I don't know, maybe it's not, but that sucker had another sucker coming off of it because that was the one I just pulled off before this one. So that one didn't look so bad. See there? So that may not let any disease come through. Then you got a leaf here, which is more than likely a sucker. And 
And there's more suckers here at the bottom. I think what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go right down in to the plant here and I'm going to take off these bottom so that more air can get in. They were already turning sort of yellow anyway. It looks like there's another sucker growing from here on the bottom. I have three tomato plants in pots on my deck. Like I said, this one is a sun gold. I do have a Sweeties. It's like a Sweet 100, which is a cherry tomato. And then I have a Glacier, which is a larger tomato. This year is my first year of growing a Glacier. It's also my first year of growing these sun golds. And I did... plant these as seeds and then transplanted them into these pots once it got warm enough outside and they were actually you know big enough big enough seedlings one thing that I like to use on my tomato plants is a liquid fertilizer um, it's a soluble which is fish emulsion And there is also another fertilizer that I like to use. That's, it's a granule. Uh, it's calcium. I don't know the name of it right off the top of my head right now. So what I'll do is I'll take a picture and I'll link it in this video. I'll also link a, video, uh, a picture of the fish emulsion. And you can buy both of those at your big box store. Looks like I actually have more than one plant in here. Looks like I have three. So, by me doing this now, maybe it's going to prevent it from getting too big and falling over in this pot. But I still do imagine I'm going to have to have some more support because I don't think this little cone cage is going to support it as it gets bigger so it'll be here in the corner of my deck so probably the deck railing will support it also because it's going to be right there in that corner then I have the glacier there and then this other one behind me goes in that corner there beside of that water canister So I've got the bottom cleared out pretty good. That way it can get some air in here. Maybe prevent some disease. And I need to get some mulch and put on the top. I know I've been saying this in some of my other videos, but I really do need to get some mulch and put in the top because I came out and watered this earlier today. I know you see the water down in the pot here down in the saucer that's up under the pot. Sorry about that. Um, so there's still water in this one, but this other one that I have from the other corner, and I'll show you in a minute, it's already dried up, and I watered both of them at the same time. So I'll take just a couple more off of the bottom so that the air can get in there good, which <laughs> I may not want the air in there because it's probably going to dry it up. But maybe that'll get me on the ball to get the mulch and put it in the bottom of here. All these stems that I'm pulling off, none of them have flowers on them. So, that opened that up really good. Let's see, maybe just a couple more here. There was another little sucker on that one. Could probably pull off this one.
and that one. So that really opened up the bottom for the air. So then I'm going to come up here to the top again and just try to get some more of these suckers off. Not sure if you can see this little leaf right here, but to me that looks like it would be a sucker. So I'm going to pull that off. But it's got lots of little tomatoes on it. Not sure if you can see that one. And then there's another one right on the other side of it. All the leaves in the way you can't really see them. There they are. And it's got lots of flowers up here on the top. So I don't feel as bad about multiple plants growing in here now that I'm opening it up and getting it to. not be quite as full taking the suckers out Let's see see how tall that one is i could take that and put it in some water and put it in some soil and then you know let the great roots grow off of it and then have another sun gold I think I already have one more sun gold at the bottom of my steps coming off the deck. Another sucker. See this little one here about to try and grow? Right there in that corner. Right here. I got the collarbone. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be called the armpit. And then over here. I have these little ones. One there. And one there. And they're hard to get when they're that small, but. Sorry about that, I'm hitting my camera. Look at that right there. Can you see all those? See how that's gonna be a cluster? I am really looking forward to eating these because I've I've probably tried them before, but I don't really remember an exact time that I've ate Sun Gold tomatoes. Here's another one right here. See that one right in the crook? crook of the armpit or the crook of the collarbone. There's another little one right there. You can see it? Right there. I know it's hard to see with all these leaves. That was my umbrella. The wind is blowing just a little bit. It was raising it up out of my table. There's another little cluster.
Okay. I think this tomato plant's good. As I was saying earlier, I have three on the deck that are in pots. And then I have one at the bottom of the deck. Here's another one here. And so up here I have a Sweeties, which is like a Sweet 100. I have this Sun Gold. I have a Glacier, which is a bigger tomato. And then I have another Sun Gold, I believe. It's either another Sun Gold or a Sweeties at the bottom of my steps. And then I have eight tomato plants down in my main garden. And there are two money makers down there. There is a celebrity. There is a big beef. And then there is an early girl. There's a glacier down there also, like I have here on the deck. And I just wanted to see the difference of how they grew in the pot up here versus being in the main garden down there. And then I also have something else down there. I can't remember. Big Beef, Early Girl, Better Boy. That's what it is, Better Boy. So... I'll show you those in my garden tour that I'm hoping to do maybe late this evening and it'll be posted after this video. So, all right. There is some other suckers on here, but like I said, there's like one or two, maybe more, that are too big for me to pull out because I don't want the plant to get diseased and then not produce anything at all. I'd rather it produce more and me try to tie it up than me to break those off and it get diseased and I not get anything. So. Okay, so one tomato plant down and 11 more to go. Does she look beautiful? Mm -hmm. Can't wait to eat some of those sun gold tomatoes. This one didn't have as many suckers on it, but it did have a couple of big ones that prevented it from having just one main lead, but there was 
two tomatoes in this pot anyway. So again, I'll just make sure that I put it in the corner next to my railing and that will give it some support along with maybe some ties or something added. Just wanted to share with you this beautiful strawberry. I want to pull it so bad. This is the Glacier Tomato. I have already pruned a little bit off of it. Tried to get as much around the bottom as I thought. That would give it some air. Still see it right here. See a couple other suckers, but it's got some nice clusters on here. And I also, this is the Glacier Tomato. So I also, So yeah, there's some nice clusters on here. This is the bigger tomato, it's a glacier tomato. But I also have some carrots in here because they are a companion plant to the tomato. And I am gonna pull those today. Today I'm planning on doing a meatloaf with some roasted potatoes. And I'm gonna have these carrots. They end up roasting the carrots with the, to uh, with the potatoes, so. Got another sucker here. And again, it looks like either I had two plants in this container or it had a sucker go off the side. So after I get the carrots out, I'll have something to help me tie it to this post here. There's one carrot. I got these carrots from Baker Creek Seed Company. I'll link the seed packet because these were planted from seeds. well I think I'm gonna leave these last two in see if they will get a little bit bigger. We'll have them on another day. I did clean out the bottom a little bit more so that some air could get in. Thank you for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the bell, you will get more alerts when I post more videos. And it would be awesome if you would share this on your social media and with your friends. And till next time, may your garden be blessed and your harvest be bountiful. Bye, friends. <laughs>